Hello everybody, Spangly here, and today I want to share with you just how broken these Ocean Hue Clam artifacts are. To me, they're going to forever be known as the Kokomi set of artifacts, just because they match her perfectly, and they're an insanely good set for her in general. Now with that said, you might be asking yourself, what is the Ocean Hue Clam set of artifacts? And as you can see, it has a very lengthy description here on the right of what the 4 set bonus is. A 2 set bonus is pretty straightforward. 15% healing bonus. You know, the 4 set bonus is where things get a little complicated. Now instead of reading you guys the book and what the 4 set bonus is, I'm just going to sum it up for you guys as simply as I can. And with that said, basically when the character equipped with this set does healing, a bubble is going to appear near your character and it's going to do AoE physical damage every 3 seconds. Now the amount of damage this bubble does is influenced by the total healing and overflow healing that you've done in that 3 seconds. And you can obtain one of these bubbles every 3.5 seconds, and this can all be done while the character that has that set equipped is off field. Meaning you can get some substantial AoE physical damage passively. I did leave out how the bubble's physical AoE damage is calculated, but the main takeaway on that is that it cannot crit, is not based on character level, and is not based on elemental mastery. Now you can go back and read the 4 set description word for word and get the exact details on how it's calculated. But just know that it's physical damage, AoE, every 3 seconds. Since the bubble damage is physical, it works quite well on a superconduct team which shreds the enemy's physical resistance by another 40%. As you can see here during my Kokomi's ultimate, I'm able to easily hit almost 27,000 damage every 3 seconds and passively when her ult's not active in the 8000s. And this damage does not crit, meaning you don't have to worry, am I going to get that damage? Am I not going to get that damage? You're going to get that damage almost every single time. The only things that are going to influence this are the enemy level, the enemy's physical resistance, and that's pretty much it. Just the enemy's level and the enemy's physical resistance. I bet, yeah, there you go again, 25,000. And you can't just call us only 25,000 during all. You think about this, her ultimate lasts 10 seconds, and she's hitting about 6 to 7k per auto attack. And she's getting three auto attacks per bubble. So that's what, like an extra 18 to 21,000 on top of the 27,000 that she's doing? Which would mean that's up to 48,000 damage every three seconds for a 10 second ult. Think about that. That's like 120,000 damage ultimate from Kokogami. Granted, it's over time, it's not damage per screenshot, it's more damage per second. Another point to take note of on this artifact set. But since it's based on incoming healing and overflow healing, they can work wonders on a Hydro Resonance team. I know most of you probably don't run Hydro Resonance or even know what Hydro Resonance is, but when you run Hydro Resonance, you get an incoming healing bonus of 30%. You're also affected by Hydro for 40% less time, but a 30% incoming healing bonus for characters like Kokomi and the Ocean Hue Clam Artifact set, that's pretty huge. And now instead of doing like 8,000 standing there passively, my bubble's probably for like 9,000 passively. And I've also been able to hit up to 37,000 physical damage with Kelkami's ult on a Hydro Resonance team. It'd be nice if I could get that all the time, but on average I get about 20,000, 21,000, which is still significant damage during Kelkami's ult. Especially when you add in all her Hydro damage on top of it, it all just ends up being a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, now with all that said, Superconduct team, shreds 40% physical resistance. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That's pretty fun. A lot of extra white damage. Not bad, not bad. Hydro Resonance team, that's also pretty fun. Extra 30% incoming healing bonus, which means more Kokomi damage and more Ocean Heat Clam damage. I mean, that's kind of fun too. But neither one of those two teams are my personal favorites or my go tos. My go to team lately consists of my boy Kazuha, Jangling, my girl Kokomi, and of course my girl Fish. Now with these four characters on a team, I like to call it the Kazukomon team. Kind of ripped it off from the Sukrokomon team, which is kind of like my personal meta. I mean, y'all seen my gameplay, you know how bad I am at dodging and how hard I struggle a lot of times with a lot of these bosses. But with this Kazukomon team that I've dubbed it, I have 34 Star of the Abyss and I strongly, strongly believe that I can take my team back and I'll finally get 36 stars in the Abyss for the first time. Now we call it the Kazukomon team because Kazaha is our Pokemon trainer here and he's got his little Pokemon. He's got his little Fire Bear Gooba, little Fire Ground type maybe. He's got his little Electro Flying type official, like a little Zapdos there popped out with Oz. 
and he's also got like, I'm gonna call it like a, a hydro fairy type or a water fairy type with a box of karagi jellyfish. And because of how this comes down, buffs everybody's elemental mastery, it swirls everybody's crap all together, and it just does all kinds of damage all over the place. Easy peasy. Everybody dead. With all that said, this seems like a good point to remind everybody here, if you're enjoying what you see, liking this video, make sure you do that YouTube thing, smash the crap out of that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below, give me your thoughts on what you think about this artifact set, maybe who you plan to use it on, or if you even plan to use it at all. Now there is a couple other healers I did try this artifact set on, and of those, I think the two best that could utilize it are going to be Chi Chi and Barbara. I also tried it on Gene, but I don't think Gene was able to do any kind of overflow healing. Can you please correct me if I'm wrong on that? But my Gene, Gene is severely underbuilt, and I don't use her at all, really. So that could be why either A, she don't heal for crap for me, or B, I just don't know about her overflow healing at all. Now there is another animal healer I did not get to try at all, and that's Sayu. I've recently got her and I haven't really got to play with her at all or I haven't built her at all so she's just kind of sitting on the bench. Maybe one day I'll put some resources into her. But right now I'm really all my time and effort has been going into Kogami and it's greatly paid off like I gotta say. I've not been disappointed in the slightest. Like I said earlier, I was able to get my best run to the abyss ever with this character and this artifact set and I will pretty much owe it all to this artifact set. Since Chi Chi and Barbara are also known for doing way too much healing and it all just going to waste. This is going to be an amazing set of artifacts for them as well. Just one thing to take note of when farming for this artifact set for Chi Chi is that her healing is scaled off her attack. So you're going to want the attack substat pieces and not the HP substat pieces and main stat pieces. But when like I said, I did farm, somewhat farm a set of artifacts for Chi Chi. I didn't level them up yet. They're all kind of level zero as you can see. But I was actually surprised at how much damage she could do with level zero Ocean Cube Clam. A nice few extra thousand damage here and there is pretty nice. So much so that I might have to focus on building a uh, main DPS and start maining Chi Chi here and there. Now for those of you that are still watching at this point, you guys are amazing. I can't thank you enough. I want to say make sure you join my Discord. The link will be in the description below. And I'm going to leave you guys off with some Barbara footage here running Ocean Heat Clam where she does some pretty good damage as well. I want you all to take care, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's dance.